Welcome everyone. I'm Kimberly Boschman, and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, I wanted to start a new sort of resource that I'm going to be offering each month. Um, it's going to be the moon messages for each life path number. And so I'm going to take a look at the numerology forecast and include animal wisdom messages for the full and the new moons each month. So we're going to start doing that for the full moon that's coming up on August 31st, 2023. So we'll take a deeper dive into each life path number, what you can expect, um, what energies you can be expecting to work with when it comes to the numerology, and then your animal wisdom message for that moon cycle. So for um, the day of the illumination, and then the couple weeks that follow. Of course, to get the more the most sort of Um, dialed in most accurate reading for your own personal journey, the best solution, of course, is a personal reading. So if you would like to book some time with me, uh, my information is in the description box below. I would love to work with you and take a look. Uh, You can book some time with me there. And then also, if you are on my YouTube channel uh, and you're a subscriber, or if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. But if you're a subscriber, make sure you hit the bell because that way when I um, drop videos, you'll you'll be alerted. And so you can catch those as they come out. Um, and that also helps my channel kind of work with this crazy algorithm that we're working with with YouTube these days. So I appreciate that in advance if you enjoy these, these videos. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. Life path number four. So for this full moon, we are working with the energy of the five and squirrel energy. And so I'm going to start with squirrel energy. So what I love about this, and it goes so beautifully with five energy, but squirrel energy and the five energy can sometimes be a little scattered, right? It's like there's so much happening. It's big energy, especially with the five. Five is big energy. It's very expansive wants to explore, wants to experience life with all of its senses. So it's not as refined as four energy, like five energy wants to have its hands in all the different pots and experience all the different things um, to really experience life, right? And so it's a very like unconventional, like think outside the box kind of energy. And with squirrel, what's funny about this is squirrels, if you think about it, you know, (laughs) there's sort of this um, scattered energy to them as well. And what squirrels can do sometimes is they collect all their, you know, their food throughout the, the, the year for the winter months, right? And they hide the, the, those seeds, right? The seeds or the nuts or whatever in the ground, but they, oftentimes will forget where they put those seeds. um, And then, you know, they just won't come back to it. But what happens is those seeds will grow trees or flowers or whatever. And so, again, sort of the circle of life. But it's that sort of like, um, sort of frenetic, very fast moving sort of energy. Uh, I don't want to say frantic, but it's scattered, right? So if there's some area of your life where it's sort of felt like it's gone off the rails or you've sort of been, things have been a little bit too chaotic or your energy has just been scattered. Like you can't focus or you're procrastinating or whatever. And you know, there's absolutely, and especially for fours, man, if you need rest, take your rest, right? Like, I mean, I feel like sometimes with fours, especially like life will step in and like force us to slow down or force us to rest or forces to receive type thing. So, um, so it's better to do it by invitation. Um, and with squirrel energy coming through and the energy of the five coming through, um, you know, I don't think that fours necessarily need to be told, Oh, you need to focus your energy more. But if there is an, if there is a place where, um, it just feels a little scattered or a little chaotic, then, um, this would be a time to not get caught up in that, like not to get worried about that, but try to focus your energy, try to like, you know, decide what it is that you want to focus on and put your energy there. Again, you're four. So I know that that's, that's sort of something you're probably pretty good at. Um, But with squirrel energy coming through also, there is like this energy and the five, right? There is this energy of like new inspirations coming in bright future and also false starts. So 
with this being a full moon, there's potentially something coming to a close. So if you have felt like you've had these false starts where it's like you started something and then it just didn't work out and you started something and it just didn't work out. We know as fours, things take time, right? Like that's part of our journey. Like it's just, you know, it's going to take effort. It's going to take time. But sometimes there's those false starts that it's like, can kind of uh, wear you down a little bit and make you feel like, okay, well, this isn't what I'm supposed to be doing then. Um, I think there's kind of a coming, um, you know, whatever area you've sort of been dealing with that, I think there's going to be some kind of closure there for you uh, around this full moon. And I think you'll find some big inspirations coming in that you can trust, right? Um, and especially with five energy coming in, because five comes in and it wants to shake things up. And so with this five energy coming in around this full moon, there may be some shifts that come in that sort of force you outside of your comfort zone, that sort of force you to um, see things more unconventionally, to do things a little bit less systematically, um, to sort of shake up your routine a little bit. So if there's anywhere in life where you've sort of become so restricted or uh, things become so routine or so mundane, this five cycle, now it's a short cycle, it's only a couple of weeks, um, <clears throat> this cycle kind of coming in is sort of giving you the nudge. It's sort of pushing you in the direction. It's, it's like an aha moment, right? So you might have, especially at this full moon. So it's going to potentially highlight something for you. That's like an aha lightning bolt moment. And you're like, Oh, okay. I get it now. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Or that's where I'm supposed to be putting my energy. I was too focused on whatever this was type thing. Um, so you might get something like that where this energy comes in and sort of shakes it up. And that's where that sort of chaos or that chaotic feeling comes in. Um, but what I would say too, is like, if this energy comes in and does sort of move you in a different direction, don't, don't be so overly committed or, um, loyal to, you know, those 10 other projects that you've been working on, um, and fear that they're not going to work out the way that they're meant to work out, right? Because I use the example of squirrel planting all those seeds, right? Those seeds are still going to serve a purpose, even if they're not in his belly. And so with those 10 other projects that you might be working on, if something comes in for you around this full moon that like really inspires you or has, or you can see the potentiality for like it creating some kind of, um, successful event in the future, or it's worth your dedicated energy, then absolutely explore it, go for it. Like even, I mean, well, especially if it's outside of your comfort zone, especially if it forces you outside of your sort of box, right? Um, because those other projects, those other things will serve their purpose, however they're meant to do that. And if that means that they need your attention, trust me that your attention will be called back to them. Um, but don't, restrict yourself from following this new path. If it's, if it inspires you, if it like ignites something within you, you're absolutely being asked to follow it with this five energy and squirrel energy. And just knowing that, yeah, those other things, they'll take care of themselves. Um, and if they won't, then your attention will be brought back to them. So give yourself some grace. Um, with this five energy, you might see travel come up around this time as well. And I would say this is a great time to travel if you have an opportunity to do that, especially if it's for like work or some kind of creative project, because <clears throat> I think that it'll give you insight or inspiration into whatever that project may be. So um, definitely don't be too restricted around this time. Like don't don't talk yourself out of something potentially really good, um, out of fear or because it's outside your comfort zone. So this is, this is really beautiful energy. Um, but it can be a little bit uncomfortable, especially if you have a lot of strong four placements in your chart. Um, so just, yeah, take a risk, go out on a limb, try something new. And like I said, just remember those, those things that you're working on, they're, they're going to serve a purpose one way or another. So I hope it's a beautiful full moon for y'all fours. Take care. Bye for now.